mums across the UK who've set up successful businesses whilst juggling kids and nappies. There's even a new word to describe them, mum entrepreneurs. It's not terribly easy to say, is it? <laughs> uh, every day we'll bring you an inspirational story of a mum in business. Cara Sayer, a mum of one from Surrey, came up with the idea of a baby sleep aid. <laughs> I'm Cara, I'm 38, and I'm mum to one lovely girl, Holly, who's nearly three. Well, before I came up with the idea, um, I was a full-time um, stay-at-home mum, and I was struggling a little bit because I used to have um, a, a good career, and I found it quite hard being at home full-time with my daughter. My eureka moment was when I was out walking with Holly, and um, I'd covered her over with a coat. And then the coat fell off when I hit a curb. And I just thought, goodness me, there must be something else that can help keep babies asleep when you're out and about. Snooze Shade is the UK's first and possibly world's first blackout blind for prams and pushchairs. It's got UPF 50 plus, so it protects it them from the sun. It's got the sneaker peak zip, and it's very simple and lightweight and easy to carry around with you. All my friends and family have been amazingly supportive. My mum's been incredible. She's always with me, helping. She comes to all the shows. Everyone knows her just like they know me. Next year, we're launching in over 300 um, supermarket stores. Um, and we're going into most of the big nursery retailers in the UK. It's actually one year ago exactly this week that I attended the trade show and I really cannot believe that I am where I am now. You oh. wasted as a businesswoman. You should be an actress with you in that reconstruction <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> but like, congratulations on all your success. You. And you what's much. been the most difficult part of it? Um, I think actually um, coping with the demand um, and um, it meant that I've had to really um, fast track um, everything along so I went from literally having a prototype to suddenly having to get it ready for you know distribution into stores mm -hmm. so it meant all the safety tests and everything had to be done I didn't have any packaging nothing um, so uh, that's that's been the most so challenging thing. That's a problem thing. you wouldn't have foreseen, not being no. able to make enough of the things. No. And then you got, I suppose you've got the shop screaming at you for more. Well, I had to fly 5,000 of them in, um, and part of that was due, during the volcanic ash um, situation. So that obviously doubled um, freight costs and things like that because mm -hmm. demand was so huge. Uh, it was it was a real surprise. So you're talking a proper businesswoman here, freights and everything else. But if you know if you're sitting at home, you do have an idea. Where do you start, or where do you go to, to get yourself started? Well, actually, what I did is I actually talked to other mums in business. Um, so I approached a lot of people who are in the nursery industry, um, and I just sort of rang them and emailed them and said, "Look, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. Can you help?" And everyone was so helpful. It's a lovely industry to be involved with. Everyone's parents. They've all got children. Most of them have done exactly the same as me, and they've all been where I was. I, I know, was. A good idea. When they see one. Mm. But what about coping coping with having a child? Did you have any help with Holly? Did you have a nanny, for example? No, in no. Um, no, I mean, I, I wanted to be a full-time mum. I gave up my career in order to stay at home and have children. Um, and uh, my, my mum has just been absolutely amazing. Um, and it hasn't all been easy. I mean, I, I did actually have a breakdown in June. Uh, and my mum had to move into the house and help look after me and Holly um, for nearly two and a half months. Um, so, um, just with the stress, with of, the stress of, of everything, the I just didn't realise it was going to be so stressful, and I wasn't very good at balancing the whole mm -hmm. uh, work-life balance. So I think I'd also mm -hmm. say to people, if they think of doing it, just sort of try and take it easy and um, you know think big, because mm -hmm. you know I think people are afraid, particularly women sometimes, to think big. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. But no, true. think big, but also try and balance your work-life balance. But without your mum, mm -hmm. it wouldn't have been possible. Without my mum, it would not be possible. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be here.